Hi, this is Steve from Pixelbump, and welcome to this tutorial for our new free script, Real Camera Shake. Sometimes you might shoot something on a tripod, like our example shot here of Amy Dallin on the set of Talkin' Comics. And you may want to add in some visual effects or graphics, but the final result you'd like to have more of a handheld look, give it a little more realism, maybe a little more dynamic energy. The usual workflow to adding that kind of work to your footage would be adding a wiggle to either the position, the rotation, or both in your scene. And there's nothing really wrong with this, it's just the wiggle ends up looking a little mathematical, a little digital, and if you add more objects to your scene, like a null, you'll see the wiggle changes position based on its layer order. So every time you add or change something in your scene, your handheld move actually changes, and sometimes that can be really difficult when you're trying to do something very specific. So let's take a look at my solution. To use the script, you need to install it in your Scripts UI panel, and then it will be available under the Window File menu. Here you see we have PB Real Camera Shake. Launch the script, and it'll come up in its own little window, and this is a dockable UI window, so you can put it anywhere within your UI, and it will launch there every time you run After Effects. So what makes this different is that it is real camera tracked motion that has been placed inside the script. It uses real keyframes instead of a mathematical computation, so no matter what you change in your file, the motion will always remain the same. We have 14 different motion profiles inside the script. Everything from subtle shake, to heavy shake, to running shake, to vibrations. It's a lot of different profiles that will hopefully fulfill any need you have. Let's start by looking at the subtle shake. Once you've made a motion selection, underneath there you'll see a speed control of either 1, 2, or 4x. Let's start off at the 1x motion, and we'll click Create the Control Null. The script lets you know when it's ready, and that's it. Hook up your footage, and let's give it a preview. And you'll see we have nice, beautiful camera motion right out of the box. Now to make the script more flexible, we've added controls to the position, rotation, and scale so you can increase or reduce the amount of motion at any time. Let's take a look at half of that motion and increase the scale to give us a little bit of edge protection. And there you go, you have a very nice and very realistic camera motion in just a couple of clicks. I hope you enjoyed this short tour of the Real Camera Shake script. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or in the comments. Thank you very much. Go and create.